Now let's talk about layers. Layers are really what make Photoshop so powerful and they're very much like the modifier stack in a program like 3ds Max for example and you can think of them as layering up a collage and gluing images on top of each other. I'm just going to drag in another image on top to demonstrate layers and we can see that we have two layers in our layer stack. Now layers are useful because if I wanted to erase something from this layer for example I could select the eraser tool and erase it and we could see the layer underneath. And if these were one object and I wanted to erase part of this image, you'll see that we erase, we erase both of them. So you can create a new layer by clicking down here on new layer, or you can hit control shift N on the keyboard and you can move layers around by just clicking and dragging them up and above the other layers or below them. And you'll see that blue line appear. You can make layers visible by turning them on and off with this eye tool. And if you hold Alt and click it, it's going to only show that layer. Hit Alt again and click it, it will show all layers again. You can name layers by just double clicking the word and hitting Enter. And you can also change the color of a layer by right clicking on it. And this can be useful if you're collaborating in a team and just to keep layers organized. When you're working in Photoshop, you normally work on just one layer at a time. So if I wanted to move this image, I can I have this layer selected. I'm just going to draw on this layer. So layer one has the red dot. So let's call this red dot. And with the move tool, I can now move this independently. And if I wanted to move it underneath detailed naming, you can see it's underneath. And if I wanted to move detailed naming layer, to select it, I can hold control and click it in the viewport and it's selected detailed naming. And again, I can click red dot. Just be aware if this is on top and I'm trying to select underneath, I need to click somewhere where it doesn't have any overlaying layers. So if I hold control and I select red dot, I could actually turn off that layer and then control and select. Now there is another way you can have auto select on, but I just find it quite hard to know what I'm selecting and moving. Um, so I just generally use the control select layer. We also have opacity up here, so we can change how visible a layer is. And you can also duplicate a layer by dragging it onto new layer, or you can press control J. And another thing to know is by default, whatever image is in the background is going to be locked. So we can't actually move that around. And if you did want to move it around, you can just double click on it to unlock it. And then we could actually pull that in front of the other layers. So we have spoke about resizing a document, but how do we resize an image or a layer rather than the whole document? And to do this, we can select our layer. I just held control and select our detail naming copy two there and I'm going to press control T and what that does is open up the free transform tool. You can also find that under edit and free transform and that is going to give us some anchor points. So now if I click and drag, we can resize our image and if I hold shift, it's currently constrained. If I hold shift, it's going to unconstrain it. So if you did want to and move it around, it's going to warp a little bit. Um, so you should probably keep it constrained. You can also hold control and move that independently if you wanted to change the perspective of an image. And that being said, you can right click in the free transform and you can select a perspective, for example, and you'll be able to click and drag like that. And you'll also find some other cool tools such as warp if you wanted to Walk that image around as well and then you just hit enter to get out of the free transform tool when you bring an image in you'll see that it has this small thumbnail on the layer and what that means is that it's a smart object and this means it's linking to the original file source but this only allows you to perform non-destructive tasks on the image and to enable full editing you need to rasterize that image so I can change the size of it but I can't paint on that layer you can see 
this is smart object and it must be rasterized. So you could hit OK here and that would rasterize it or you could right click and rasterize the layer and now I can paint onto this layer. This video is actually part of a larger course so if you think you find that useful then check out the link in the description and feel free to like and subscribe.